come to question and answer. This program will give you spirit. Share and subscribe. Which thing can lead people to hell? What do you mean? What does she mean? One sin is bigger. Okay, example. I don't understand the question. I mean killing or stealing. Okay, killing or stealing. Which one is bigger between the two? Yes. So when you follow Exodus 12 or Exodus 20, that's where the Ten Commandments are. So the Ten Commandments are the things that you have been given so that you may not do them. There is you respect your mother. Do not steal, do not kill. All of them first, they are sin. God is not permitting them. So everything bad is sin. Everything bad is sin. I'm coming to your question. Now, when you follow, uh, when you read James 4, verse 17, the Bible says, Anyone, uh, any wrong things to those who know that it is wrong, to them it is a sin. Mm -hmm. So, uh, stealing is sin, uh, killing is sin, hating is sin. Now, I'll ask you the question now. I'll ask you on the one side. It will be like a question, on one side in the form of a question. If people are saying that stealing is bigger, or stealing, uh, killing is bigger than stealing, now, I've got a question. We have got a rich man in Luke 16, uh, Luke 16, uh, verse 16 going down. That rich man, he went to hell, which, which, which kind of a sin? He was not, he was not stealing. He was not committing adultery. But he was not helping. As a result, he ended up in hell. So any sin can take anyone to hell. Whatsoever is sin, is sin. Whatsoever is sin, is sin. But he, when it comes to sin again, the Bible says there is sin which can be forgiven and sin which cannot be forgiven. Sin which can be forgiven is when you say a, uh, a word against anyone, you can be forgiven. But when you say a word against the Holy Spirit, you cannot be forgiven. How do we say a word against the Holy Spirit? When you, you rise against the, the servant of God and you don't want to repent, that is to say a word against the Holy Spirit. And in First John, uh, First John, the Bible says um, uh, there are some sin that can take people to hell and some sin that cannot take people to hell. I think that's a, that's a question. Or oh, there are some sins, sorry, that can lead to death and some sin that can only lead to death. Romans 6, verse 23. Um, uh, the wages of sin is what? Is death. It could not mention a sin. But this one tried to say some sin that can lead people to death and some that can only lead people to death. James 1, verse 15. The Bible says we are tempted due to our desire. When our desire grows, it leads to, uh, to sin. When sin grows, it leads to death. So sin that can only lead people to death is a sin that can be reduced by uh, confessing sin. Confessing, confessing, confessing. So if you are confessing, you cannot die. And I'm not giving you an, an advantage of, uh, because I say confess, of sinning anyhow. Quite all right, according to First John 1, uh, verse 8, the Bible says, anyone who says that does not, does not sin is making, him, uh, is making God to be a liar. So, if you can confess, your sin can be forgiven. And when you are forgiven, you cannot go to hell. The criminal at the cross, he was not baptized anyway. But in Luke uh, 23, verse 42, he said, remember me when you come as a king. The response of Jesus is in 43. He said, today, I'm with you in paradise. Mm -hmm. So I think I've answered your question. Everything is sin. Even sinning, if you cannot repent, you are going to go to hell. That's the reason why I gave you the example of somebody who could not commit adultery, the rich man. 